Thanks, Paul. Thanks for the introduction, and uh, thank you to Mainstream for the opportunity um, to speak at today's conference. Sorry. As, uh, as Paul said, I'm actually um, a native of Offaly, only 25 minutes down the road, so um, the Energy Bridge project is very topical um, in my own community. Um, I'll just play, explain a little bit about who I am and who is Yoko Gao and what is our interest in the Energy Bridge project and wind energy supply chain. So, Yokogawa Ireland is a, an affiliate of Yokogawa Electric Corporation, which is a, a Japanese uh, technology company headquartered in Tokyo. We have global sales of about $4 billion, and we invest about 9% of net sales back into R&D, so that we always stay at the forefront of technology development in our industry. We employ about 20,000 employees globally. Types of systems and products that we manufacture and supply and also install, commission and maintain uh, are quite, quite a vast array of systems really. We manufacture production control systems which have uh, software and hardware based solutions, safety systems for emergency shutdown fire and gas applications in oil and gas power generation, um, field instrumentation uh, for analysis, environmental analysis, um, and uh, information from process. We also manufacture a lot of advanced software applications, information management systems, uh, which give visual and informed data to operators and uh, uh, utility operators and uh, people who own plants in that. In terms of the wind industry supply chain, where does Yokogawa fit into this? Well, if we look at the typical supply chain, comprised of service providers, component manufacturers, wind turbine manufacturers, and developers, or developers of energy. The service providers typically comprise of environmental, energy, engineering consultant companies, training providers, or maintenance services companies. Um, Yokogawa fits in in the supply chain within the component manufacturers um, and that typically the supply there is control and automation equipment, IT equipment, information management systems, software applications, electrical equipment etc. We would supply both to uh, turbine manufacturers and also the end user operators of the plant. So from manufacturers of the physical assets to the operators of those assets, we would supply solutions. Then obviously within the supply chain, as I say, we have wind turbine manufacturers as represented here today by Nordex, GE, Siemens, uh, and then there's developers of energy like Mainstream. So where we fit within that supply chain, our typical types of applications that we supply in these areas are supervisory software applications. So from uh, an operational perspective, um, and Joe will probably talk a little bit more about this, mainstream and operators of plants will have uh, teams of people who monitor a wide portfolio of assets, uh, wind turbines, wind farms from uh, various different suppliers. And that what Yokogawa do and have experience in doing is supplying supervisory systems which consolidate and manage all of that data into one operation center. We also provide information management systems which allow advanced data analytics on the information that's coming back. What that means from an operation perspective is that it gives asset owners, uh, operations managers, the information that's needed to do predictive analysis in terms of uh, maintenance. Uh, they can look at how their wind turbines are performing against their design criteria, so their actual performance against design criteria, get new analysis on the downtime on the assets themselves and what was the cause, root cause of that downtime. So the information that we're extracting allows them to uh, uh, make more informed decisions on how to run their assets and manage them and maintain them. Other opportunities uh, in the scale of the Energy Bridge uh, project and that is for the manufacturer and of uh, dedicated computerized maintenance management systems for renewable energy uh, um, assets and that. These types of systems obviously will uh, 
look at uh, turbine asset management, identify component failure, do predictive maintenance and schedule service or work orders to maintenance teams. Um, we also manufacture uh, industrial hardware in terms of uh, industrial PC server, uh, server technology and remote terminal units. What that does is when operations teams have multiple assets from various different turbine manufacturers, by putting in these hardware infrastructure in place on various wind farms, we can normalize the data. That means that rather than maintenance teams going to one wind farm and seeing one set of data and visualization that's different here and having different logging credentials at this wind farm, and then to go off to another wind farm and have different logging credentials and see different visualization there, they, these types of uh, hardware can allow the standardization and normalization of data across the, the assets, make it easier for them to manage. They also, uh, they also provide continuity of uh, supply of the information by buffering data when communication links are volatile. So if for whatever reason satellite communications is dropped or G, 3G, GPRS uh, connections are dropped, the local hardware stores that data and then transfers it across to the uh, um, remote operation center once uh, communications are restored and all data is uh, uh, saved and maintained. Typically, this is uh, an architectural overview of how uh, some of our systems would look from a, an operations perspective. So you'd have an operation center with a supervisory system, uh, which will have a number of uh, visualization da da uh, dashboards, you look at real-time control, you'll have live media data so the operators that are looking at their wind assets can see exactly what's happening at that site in terms of wind speeds, etc. They can look at the production data, they can make informed decisions as to what they need to do with that, uh, at that site at that time. We have the advanced data analytics systems which allow them to do power performance calculations, they can look at wind forecasting and demand forecasting and see which is which assets they need to uh, uh, be operating more efficiently over other assets. As I said earlier, you can look at downtime analysis, what was the root cause of failure on some of the uh, systems. In terms of the skills and competencies um, that we look for within our organization, um, typically we provide, at this moment in time, Yoke Gaon provides in Ireland, engineering and services, uh, technical services to our clients. What that means is that we provide project execution engineering services. So when we receive uh, uh, um, an order from a client for a control system or an information management system, we execute the project and we maintain the system thereafter and we have teams of service engineers for that. The opportunity that exists with a project of this scale for a company like our organization is that we could further invest in the, um, in the skill sets, particularly in computer science, in R&D and software development in Ireland to de further develop the applications that are required for renewable energy industry. Okay, I'd like to thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks.